Hello everyone, I just wanted to take some time because I've been playing Master Duel for the last like three days that uh, I wanted to show off the very end of my journey into Platinum, uh, which, you know, I, I definitely haven't uh, recorded this twice already. Let's let's not worry about that. Uh, go into my my uh, match history real here. Win win win. Don't don't uh, don't worry about that. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and play this replay and get things cooking uh, real quick. Like <clears throat> I could go into the deck and break it down, uh, but basically I'm playing a list that I sort of hodgepodge together with what's in my card pool of Danger Dark World that has a extra bonus chaos package with three. Uh, Chaos Valkyria and three copies of BLS uh, because they're good. I opened three BLS and I'm going to play them, damn it. Uh, but also because they're rank eights, which goes perfectly with the Dark World stuff. Um, so my opponent here is doing Incantation Necroz thing. That's cool. They're like revealing and playing cards and I guess I'm supposed to be impressed or something. Uh, it is kind of, kind of uh disconcerting in that i know necros all have uh like hand trap effects uh which is going to make it a little bit of an obstacle to play through uh they're going to be ending specifically on necros of unicorn as well as uh where uh just negates stuff by attributing any monster effects and unicorn negates monsters from the extra deck which isn't really a problem for me uh, so my primary concern is Arhebir. He lets the Jackalope go, and then I immediately just set the Arhebir back in his hand with the response team. So from here, I can just pretty much do whatever the hell I damn well please. Uh, in this case, I'm going into um, using this Nessie here to find another Bigfoot to keep my big Bungus chain going. Uh, activate the Bigfoot and then I immediately discard Lucent, which gives me over 8k for damage. So rather than continue to extend here, drawing yet another copy of Nessie, I'm just going to flip over Raikeki and try to go for game. But unfortunately, they have Necroz of uh, Valkyrus in hand, which is essentially an archetype specific battle fader. Uh, so I am forced to main phase two. I go ahead and make number 38 Oparbinger, which is a spell negator. So I can. Uh, stop any necros rituals is kind of my ideal here um so he goes he goes ahead for the cycle and i'll activate the negate and take the cycle but unfortunately he has another one already in graveyard so he can just keep going anyway it's fine it's not a big deal for him uh at least i imagine it's not that big of a deal for him uh he goes into uh kaleidoscope making uh i have be ahead that i bounced in his hand the first time and, uh, yeah, uh, goes into tutors for Brian Ack, which then tutors for Trishula, which I believe, if I remember correctly, is a negate for anything that targets one of his ritual monsters. Um, but, uh, I, I take 300 from, uh, uh, sets one and keeps the Trish in hand. Uh, mind you, he only has the one, so he has to tribute it if he's going to negate with the, uh, anyway. Uh, which he's going to do immediately, so I don't have to worry about any negates to play around. I can just kind of go for the rest of this. Um, which means uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we summon our Nessie, which is unfor a lot of the time like we want the low odds of, pitch of the Nessie pitching itself. Uh, but we draw into our third Nessie and summon our third Nessie. Uh, quick pop quiz. What happens when you have two level sevens on the field? Oh, it's Mecha Fan of Beast Draco Sack! Uh, oh, God. I love Draco Sack so much. Uh, so we go ahead and make two tokens. Uh, pop is Ahabihe. Uh, summon Chaos Valkyria. And they just concede on the spot. Beautiful. Uh, very easy game. Just, um, just play dangers. Win. Who needs hand traps?